Hi everybody, can you believe it's July 2020? Um, we sort of feel like we've lost a year somewhere along the way um, with COVID. Uh, thoughts go out to all of our property management brethren down in Victoria who must be just going through hell in a handbasket at the moment. Um, we seem to be settling in quite well up here as long as everybody does the social distancing and does the right thing. I think that um, we're on the way out here, but I do feel uh, for all the property managers, tenants and landlords in Victoria. It's pretty scary down there. So June wrap up. Uh, June was an interesting month for us. We, uh, we normally have a pretty quiet June in the lead up to end of financial year. Uh, this June was not like that. We had um, over 1,100 inquiries on properties. Didn't have a lot of stock on the book, uh, which was quite unusual for us. Normally uh, May, June, July is quite busy, but this particular June uh, was quite quiet. I think my, uh, my thoughts on that are that people aren't moving. Uh, they're, they're tending to stay in their properties, uh, taking up the lease renewals with no rent increase and just um, circling the wagons and sticking it out until maybe the end of the year. So I think maybe December, January, February, we could see quite a lot of movement in the market then. At the moment, I think people are just pretty much just staying where they are and happy to stay where they are for the moment, which means that the stock levels um, for rentals is quite low. So anything that we do get on the books, uh, we're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of inquiries. So uh, this particular month in June, we had 323 uh, potential tenants inspected. Now that's to say we had over 700 booked for inspections. So the no-show rate was quite high for June. Uh, put that down a bit to the weather. Um, I put it down a bit to people still homeschooling their children. Maybe not everyone's back at school and um, just the general um, COVID uh, area at the moment. Um, we did have 101 open for inspections. We are back to normal with inspections now, so we're opening them up to groups of uh, 20 or less. Uh, so that's working quite well. We are still making sure that people are sanitising, social distancing, and making sure that there's no paper pens, uh, things like that, everything's digital. Uh, the girls are um, adhering to that quite well. Tenants seem to be okay with it all also. Our vacancy rate at the moment is really low. It's less than 0.36%. So uh, again, I think that has a lot to do with people just staying put and also anything that we do get on the books, it's going pretty much on the first open. So if you've got a property out there and you need it leased and it's priced right, it'll just go on the first open um, with really, really good applications. The arrears for June were quite surprising. Uh, so a lot of the uh, deals uh, that were made with landlords and tenants back at the, in March, um, April, May, June, so a lot of them were for eight to 10 weeks. They've all come off those agreements now. And very surprising, our arrears level has not risen. There's uh, probably just a few on there that we are in conciliation with at the moment, with landlords, tenants and the Residential Tenancies Authority. But um, at the moment, um, less than 0.072%, um, which is completely remarkable considering the, uh, the environment that we're in. I did uh, receive an email um, in regard to conciliations. Um, if anybody's been trying to ring the Residential Tenancies Authority, good luck. Um, that's been a, a pretty crazy uh, scenario uh, for everybody here in Queensland. Just a little statistic, the RTA, the Residential Tenancies Authority, not the Road Traffic Authority, as people in New South Wales think I'm saying when I say the RTA, so the Residential Tenancies Authority have fielded over 27,000 calls since um, COVID was declared. 83% uh, of those um, have been about uh, rent arrears, uh, rent conciliations, disputes with landlords in regard to been not being able to pay the rent. And the other surprising thing on the Gold Coast is over 14% have been about ending a tenancy, which surprised me uh, that the um, agents and landlords and tenants have disputes over that. I, th I thought that would have been just a really um, easy one to, to solve, but obviously it hasn't been. Um, quite interestingly enough though, um, of the whole of Queensland, uh, Brisbane had 413 dispute resolutions and the Gold Coast not far behind on 320 and yet the Sunshine Coast only had 65. So the Sunshine Coast seems to be quite settled up there. Uh, Brisbane, I think a lot of their disputes would have been with um, students in student accommodation and the Gold Coast, we've got a lot of seasonal workers, we've got a lot of hospitality workers, the casino, we've got all the theme parks um, and the amount of hospitality down here. So it's not surprising to me 
that that amount of people did get into issues down here on the Gold Coast. We seem to be coming back to normal now. We just, uh, the theme parks opened last week. We're just waiting for the casino to open. Um, and a lot of the restaurants and cafes have opened back up all but with reduced hours and reduced staff. A lot of our tenants are starting to get back to work. So when we're doing our, we're back doing our routine inspections now, uh, we're seeing them in a better frame of mind. We're seeing them a lot happier. Uh, they seem to have more purpose. So uh, that's been really, really good. And again, I can't even imagine what Victoria is going through with everybody being actually forcibly locked down in their homes. So we're very, very lucky. We're very blessed here on the Gold Coast. Um, our team are back doing routine inspections. We're back doing entry condition reports. Uh, we're still very, very much social distancing, very much COVID active. Um, so if you do come to the office, please be aware that the girls are um, making sure that people sanitise when they come in, making sure that we sanitise the office when you leave. So don't take it personally if we wipe the door handles when you leave. Uh, June, again, a very, very interesting month. Looking forward to July, um, seeing what happens in July and August. And then obviously our big challenge will be in September. So our big challenge will be if the government uh, draws back on JobKeeper and JobSeeker in September, uh, I think September, October is going to be very, very, very challenging months for us in property management. So if, again, if you've got any issues, um, if you've got anything you want to talk about, I'm here. I'm happy to listen, happy to talk. 0412-455-808. Uh, more than happy to sit down and have a chat with you um, in regard to your investment property and um, call anytime.